Yeah, all right, welcome back. We are doing two by twos today. I had to slab them like that, pancake them, because he's too tall. You can only go up four, which is actually seven, when you put the one by one in between them, and then eight, nine, ten with the legs. Uh, is as high as you can go. So I couldn't get all the way to, to the max height. To, to be modify. Alright, so this is going to go back to the original format since I'm doing them all at once. And it's going to go by type. And we're going to start... They're going to go in order of manufacturer, but not all manufacturers have every type. So we're going to start with Living Quarters, Demos, Nova, Stroud. We're going to jump over to Cargo. Cargo has all of them. So Devo... Demos, Nova, Stroud, Hope Tech, Tayo. Then we go to the All-in-Ones, who has three different ones, but instead of the five, Nova, Hope Tech, Tayo. We'll pop back here in the back, go to the Brakes. There are all five types. And then to the Battle Stations, where there is, once again, all five. Then Lone Ranger, all by itself over here, is the Demos Engineering Bay. And lastly, just minus a Nova, we have the science computer, sorry, computer course, not science labs, computer course. So let's go take a look-see. I will try to make this as quick and painless as possible. Timestamps down below for your pleasure. flashlight on just in case we're starting out Deimos living quarters two by two we have a head all right I don't like those straps it will make it difficult to place anything inside there I mean this is assuming you don't just block it off anyway There is glass, okay. Glass in this one? Yes, there is. All right. Let's go check out the next one. So we are now in Nova Living Quarters. It does have the uh, handle hang bars strap bars so that's gonna be a little bit difficult got a galley and a head I think a little bit better color scheme than the demos for a living quarters <clears throat> this again is gonna be a little difficult to be able to build into but unless you just put in front of it of course couple beds in this one pre-built some people like that some people do not some people want it just empty empty and as we have found out empty doesn't always mean empty all right oh boy all kinds of dark up in here Stroud Eklund living quarters with really rando pipes for no apparent reason I think this thing's got like four of those. Five. Six. Five of them looks like. It's got windows. Yes, it does. Same again. Uh, someone had mentioned that if we did not like uh, this, for example, if we didn't like these shelving, you might pop a window there. So if, if you make good use of window ports, that would not only give you a little bit more space for decoration because it puts that square there, but then it puts like a 45 on both sides. It gets rid of the uh, shelving. So, good idea. I like that. We do have a head. Or, so, <laughs> one with no light, so good luck. All right. Let's get out of all of this. We are going to go over to the cargo holds.
We're going to start off with Deimos Cargo Hold. Lots of strappies in here. Great for the reality of moving things. Terrible if you want to actually put anything inside there. Very random to have a head inside of a cargo bay. I do kind of like these little side shelving jobbies. Be a little, uh... I never noticed that before. A little light over the head. I wonder, does it change? Where's the door? Come on. Aw, that's a missed opportunity. They could have had it change color when it was open or shut. All right. Go to the next. We are Nova. Really wish the lighting was working properly. I'd love to be showing these to you uh, without a flashlight. It'd look much nicer. But it is what we have access to right now. Alright, let's come up here to some Stroud Cargo Hold. Bright white. I like how those are uh, scratched up. Like they would be in a cargo hold. Got a bathroom in here as well. Cora doing her children of the corn thing over there. Your ship is way bigger than Dad's. Well, that's pretty empty. Some Hope Tech cargo. Almost completely empty. Pop a window. Let's see. Yep, I think a window would get rid of that. Possibly get rid of all that. It might just take out this two, this middle section, this eight foot section, may or six foot, whatever, two meter. All right, let's check out the last one. Last one's gonna be Tayo. Okay, there it is. There's your empty. Tayo two by two cargo hold and the lights just started working. Uh, that is, yep. There's your empty. I, I don't, again, I don't love these uh, bulkheads like this, but man, if you want empty, this is your empty. I'll turn the light back on just in case, because you never know when it's going to come back off on us. I did submit that directly to Bethesda's support, by the way, the video that I, where I caught the light changing in on the video. So hopefully it will get uh, a little looksy-loo here soon. Hopefully before this goes live, it would be nice if these... All the bugs I've found and what other peoples have found uh, get fixed before this goes live. These are all-in-ones. We're starting with Nova. Super compartmentalized. This is the one that has that little little small section where you could be it could be an office. Uh, maybe make your own bathroom. You got one right there, but maybe make your own small captain's quarters. Could be cool. Sam and Cora, and accidentally locked the door. I didn't say that out loud. Yep, still got the bars above. Two beds. Side-by-side -side beds. Nice, if that's what you're looking for. I can dig it. It's a good space. Let's see what Hope Tech has to offer for the all-in-ones. What is hovering over the ground right there? Did you see that? I know what it is. The table that would normally be here. Wow, they did. those are drink stains on the table that's normally here if you don't have a ladder. They didn't even fit. Wow. Okay. I tried on a no. This is my second time trying to record this. You can't take that off the wall, and I don't think we have that. I don't think that is one of the posters we have access to. 
So you do have your four bunk, which is nice. Nice little bunk room. And I don't know what's going on here. A f I don't, I'm trying to remember the normal one. What What is right here that would have whatever the hell's going on with that thing? More shelving. You do have a light here. I'm thinking maybe game table or a bar. Because this is your galley, so a bar out in front of it. Head there. Galley works. I could see that. Come out here and you got a little bar and you got your entertaining going on. Might look alright. Did they fix it on Tayo, right? Yep, it's not hovering there on Tayo. And they don't have the extra weird poster there. Bunks, good. No, uh, no random whatever that was floating in the midair. No light over that. Take that as good or bad, depending on what you're looking to build. Galley does work. No overhead light in this. I mean, there is, but not, not a drop-down overhead light. So, again, good if that's what you want. Sorry, I forgot to warn you about height. Alright, let's get back to the center, and let's go back, and let's do a little bit more exploring. I'm gonna hang a left. Try not to fall in. And we are gonna start with, this time, we're going to Briggs. This should be real interesting. I already heard it. I, I heard the thing pop out at me where you open the door. So, starting off with Deimos. This is the 2x2 two two Brig Empty. Uh, one thing I forgot to point out. Stroud, their 2x2 two two um, Battle Stations, does not say empty on it, but it is empty. Uh, there is two of the Brig of them. And so one of them... I'm going to open this up. Do either of these work? I don't know that these work. I can't get the icon to show up. Um, but, so just be aware of that. The, uh... Stroud Battle Station. There's two of them on the list, and one the second one that's over by the empties is is actually empty. Yeah, I don't see that. I don't know that these are usable, so I don't know that they'll count as beds. So you do have a head. The uh, overseers section here. Uh, no glass. No glass. Okay. Let's go up to the next one. <clears throat> Nova Brig. See, that one was open. I haven't been up here yet. Why was that one open? Does the door work? Ooh. Does the door not work? Is there a door? I don't think there's a door. They missed the whole door. How how do you miss the whole door? Like when they're making it empty, some interns like take the door off too? Sure. <laughs> oh goodness. Let's check these two. That should work. That definitely works. All right. So this one works as a functioning bed, whereas the Deimos did not. At least that I could figure on mine, that one works as well. Alright, so pretty standard fare for this one, uh, except it's missing a freaking door for the bathroom. Jumped right up into the bathroom here in our Stroud Brig. 
Nice little corner. Here is your overseers. Do we have glass? Nope, no glass. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, I guess nobody's getting into these. Uh, sure. Well, that's interesting. So the Stroud ha is missing the components to uh, actually get into the cells. Well, it's a good thing it's beta, right? All right. Hope Tech. Got some brig going on. Big empty space over here. Not too shabby. Here's another one that you can't get into because reasons. I'm betting that bunk works too. Same with that one. I'd bet that bunk works, but you can't get in. And is this another one missing a door? He look, appears to be. So looks like that's another one where the brig is missing a door on the bathroom, the head. And your overseer's area. We got any glass? We got no glass. Okay. Pop up to our final, which is Tayo. Same as what we just came from, different paint scheme, and also, still, you cannot access these at all. And once again, looks like there's no door on the head. They just were like, nah. That's, um, <laughs> sure. All right. Well. Alrighty then, so well, let's pop over here to the middle. We will check out some battle stations and see if they fare any better than the uh, brigs. Alright. All five brigs had problems. So, battle stations, we're going to start with the Deimos. I like the color scheme. I do like these floors. The black and the white juxtaposed, I think, is a nice look. Especially if, you know, the lights actually worked. Yeah, pretty uh, standard fare. Nothing fancy about it. Doesn't need to be, necessarily. We're going to do some Nova Battle Stations. So this is going to be compartmentalized. And has... Whoa, what was that? What the crap is Hank? Okay. So, some weird artifacting. No actual bed, but you could put a um, sleeping bag on that and make it work. Weird choice for battle stations. I'm trying to remember the battle stations of the... Uh, the full ones, to see if I can remember what was there. But I don't remember there being a bed. Maybe that space was meant as a desk or something. All right. Stroud Eklund. What is going on? You children of the corn, grown adult people, You're freaking me out. So basically just the brighter, that's relative for, what's Sarah doing? She's acting like, they're all acting like the consoles are there. And then walk right through it. Okay. Walk right through the invisible console, Sarah. Sure. <laughs> Hope Tech Battle Stations. Oh, goodness. So this one's got that nice uh, section right there that's cordoned off. This guy right here. You can put really nice wraparound um, 
control station right there look real good even if I don't really care for this kind of tin quality look you know alright in final we're looking at Tayo battle stations now that's just random is that the first one or was the other one painted I know there was, you should be a nav console right there where there's a light that's got that uh, blue tone to it. Alright. That will conclude battle stations. So let's get out of here. Height warning, I think? Nope. This one, maybe? No, we're just gonna... <laughs> we're just gonna bounce from side to side. We'll get there. All right, let's go take a look at. Is that the one I haven't been into? If that's the front, that makes it this way. The singular in uh, engineering bay. All right, Demos, you get your engineering bay all to yourself. It just looks the same as. Um, like two or three of the other demos, to be honest. Pretty much same old fare. Nothing, nothing fancy about it at all, that's for sure. Other than, okay, so here's what's fancy. All these battle stations, they do give you a plus six, even empty. And I, I can say this as fact, it is tied to whatever the bonus the HAB gives you. I've tried putting a bunch of beds, no beds, changing habs, and it is definitely tied to the hab. So we are now on computer cores. We're going to start off with Deimos. It's got that uh, computer room, but I could easily see uh, banks of uh, stations there where they can do their work. And this is, I mean, assuming you use it as a computer core, of course. All right, now we're going to move to Stroud. Should be the exact same thing as Deimos, just with a lighter color scheme. I think if I was picking one of these over the other, it'd be Stroud over the Deimos. Just because it'd be brighter for the equipment. I don't know that brighter makes any difference, but... Let's see what Hope Tech has to offer for us. That's, um... That's super random to be sitting off right there. I remember this. It used to... It has, like, all those old analog... Yep, it's got one there. So I guess it's not as random as I thought. Must add storage over here. Glass, yes. Super duper duper compartmentalized. I could almost see this being um, good for like this private room. There's a private room. Come out here. Uh, maybe this is the bathroom. Maybe this is like a living space or something. If you wanted to make this more of like a crew quarters, I could see that. All right, last one. We are in Tayo, and this is their computer core. So, brighter version of what we just saw, minus the 
little jobby little half shelf or half uh, railing sticking out right there. With that half there, that could be interesting. Maybe put a <clears throat> put your divider, stick a bed there, stick a bed there, and this is a a double room. So maybe this is Sam and Cora's room or something. Assuming you you decided you wanted to do that. And glass again. All right, that will conclude our two by twos. Uh, the next one we're going to do is 3x1, so I'll see you next time, guys. Have a good one.